Hi everyone, it's Hamilton here. I'm with Elliot Orr from Spank and Hide. G'day. Hey Elliot, how's it going? Very well, thank you. We're, just... we're sitting on Elliot's uh, patio here in Brisbane by the river. So it's just, um, Spank and Hide's coming to play Glow Dance. And I was just um, asking Elliot, you know, does he have any stuff around or any experiences around, you know, being a white guy and playing traditional African music? Yeah, totally, totally, yeah, positive and negative. Yeah. Um, I guess starting with the, the negative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it hasn't been too bad. It hasn't been too bad. Um, the, the most of the reverse racism actually comes more from from non-African people. So, right. um, like, you know, white people. For example, one yeah. time I was facilitating a, a drumming workshop down in... Um, down in uh, on the Gold Coast, and it was a corporate workshop for a company that were um, essentially based at coming out of South Africa. Um, they were white South Africans, and um, and and I arrived, uh, and there was about four or five of them there, and and I, I walked in, and one of these older guys said to me when I introduced myself, "Aren't you the wrong colour?" Right, <laughs> and it was it kind of like. Um, it was a little bit of a, a slap in the face and I kind of didn't really know how to respond to it at first so I just didn't say anything for a second and then I just explained um, I said well actually have a look at my hands um, this is actually really a clear indication of whether or not I'm the right person for the job yeah um, it's the, hands. Yeah, yeah it's the ability to play it's the it's the ability to communicate the information and so on and, yeah. and so I didn't I didn't you know say what I was really wanting to say yeah um, you know because I hadn't done the job yet yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, on the positive side yeah um, I am I never it never ceases to uh, amaze me just how much the African guys appreciate yeah. the fact that I'm not African yeah and yet I'm so into it yeah. And have, you know, been so dedicated to a reach a high level. Yeah. And and for all the other people who just love African drumming and want to have a go and get into it, that it touches them deeply. You yeah. Know, it's yeah. like wow, you know, for for the longest time, African people have been simply exploited, yeah. based on what they what you know they have in their in their land or what their ability to to work as slaves yeah. and, and they've been exploited and exploited and exploited. All their resources have been ripped out and yeah. taken to the West. And and now this is something where their culture is, they're actually, they're, the opportunity is for them to share it yeah. and where we invite them to share it with us. In fact, we'll pay them to share it with us. Mm. And um, there is, there can, that line can be crossed and that can be seen as, you know, Neo bloody colonization with mm. with um, people taking drumming, you know, like sometimes Africans can get a bit upset that the white guys are doing it and getting the work and stuff. So that right. it can it can work that way, um, but generally the real one, the, the really good drummers, they they just love it. They appreciate it so much, and they mm. and they encourage, you know, they they encourage us, and they, you know, yeah, that's great, yeah. yeah. Mm? Exactly. Yeah, one of our teachers, Muhammad Bangurake, you know, he says often in class that the djembe doesn't know what bloody colour you are. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't say bloody though. He's a good, very good boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Isn't it? Yeah, they don't doesn't know what colour you are. Yeah. 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 Anybody can play. Anybody can be a master. Yeah. As long as you start young enough and yeah. devote yourself to it enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so not anybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. And so your your rhythms and your like the the music comes from West Africa. Is that is that right? That's a fair a fair guess. It's not exactly right. Like we yeah. do, pl I do play a lot of West African styles. Like yeah. um, a, you know, maybe of a a spank and hide set. Maybe half the set mm. would be would come from the West Africa, and that means the people of West Africa who created the djembe and yeah. the dunduns. Yeah. Um, uh, but there's also, we play rhythms that have been like 
adapted to these drums from, say, Congolese rhythms or yeah. Zimbabwean um, Mbira parts. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a lot of my... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Living in the city. Um, bit of two-stroke dreaming there. Two-stroke dreaming. <laughs> 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 yeah, so there are those rhythms as well. And, um, and, and so I guess, um, yeah, there is, there is a level of contempt contemporariness in there yeah we don't really I haven't really I've written a couple of, couple of rhythms um, yeah. you know the funky farmer dude and another piece and <laughs> funky farmer dude what's that <laughs> that's the name that. of it yeah. All right. no it's a cool rhythm I like it it's yeah. a little bit hip hoppy feels a little bit like hip hop yeah um, and uh, and and but we don't really played those because they're they kind of they're a little bit complex like um, and for the group to get the whole thing take a long time yeah um, and it's almost a bit like well why reinvent the wheel you know like these the rhythms are out there that you know, I don't to be honest I don't really care what the rhythm is mm. it doesn't matter like mm. every rhythm has its own energy and we just you know as long as you're playing playing with intention yeah and it doesn't really matter yeah you know sometimes the simplest rhythms are the most effective yeah uh, yeah I mean, a perfect example of that is the difference between shamanic drumming from um, the American Indians mm. and the comple complex, crazy six eights and nine eights of West Africa. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the Indian drum, the American Indian drum, sometimes it's just dun, dun, mm. dun. So simple. Mm. More effective mm. to fall into trance mm. than the complex rhythms. Mm. The complex rhythms stimulate your mind. They stimulate and they make you want to dance in, in you know, in, cre in really creative ways. Yeah. Whereas that kind of regular simple beat puts you into more of a rocking dance where you just fall into trance more easily. Yeah. So, I think in many ways we play the rhythm, these kind of rhythms, because they they're fun to play. Yeah, yeah. 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 Spankenheide's a family as well. Um, we're like um, a family of friends who who kind of the music almost is almost secondary to our friendship. Mm. And we're, we're a really mutable group. We often have guests, you know, the fact yeah. that we're playing the music from Africa means that it's easy for those dudes who are, you know, professional you know, master drummers or, or just really, really good drummers to just jump in and yeah, solo yeah. with us. And yeah. um, they may not even have heard the rhythms before, yeah. but they can find their way, you know. Uh, yeah. Like I can with other groups like this. Sort of, but once you get to a certain level, you can... It's pretty easy to just jump in and have a good time, and so you know we do a lot of that. And we, you know, it's nice to have guests in that way. Yeah, mm. and one of my favourite bits about your set is like when you get everyone like dancing, you know, with you and like, or with the yeah, drummers with the djembe, yeah, the dance circle. Yeah, and responding to the yeah. to the djembe. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's wild. and that's so that's really traditional. That's what, yeah. that's very traditional African. Like, yeah. and uh, and they'll like walk in a circle and kind of doing a sort of a basic kind of simple dancing movement but not not really dancing as such and then yeah. at some point it's like it's hard to know why or how it works but one of them will just launch into the center and dance like go nuts and that's when the drumming goes boom the yeah. tempo goes up the intensity goes up and and it just goes crazy and then then she'll or he will finish yeah and then it'll drop back and right. they might even slow down again. Yeah, yeah. Or they might stop, but they usually will just slow down and then build it up again. That's cool, because that's yeah. kind of what's happened when I've seen the dance circle. Yeah, well, that, we, we really try and use the dynamic yeah. so that when somebody gets, you know, you've got to create enough rhythm, enough energy for somebody to get inspired to jump into the middle and, yeah. and dance. And, and, like, and then it's up to the lead drummer when they do that to follow that and yeah. to try and play their dance, yeah. accent their movement. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, when you know, by coming from a sort of a, a sort of, you know, volume five, when yeah. they jump into the middle, bang, we go hit ten and yeah, and, yeah. and go for it, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it's cool to do it. It's cool to do it in a in a, in a Western context because it gives those people who really do love to dance mm. the space and the room to really express. Yeah. And then yeah. they can go for it with the support of all these musicians. Yeah. And and the and the lead drum is like totally trying to play their dance and it, it can be really powerful yeah it's like it's 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 real it's immediate it's not rehearsed and it's you know it can be really liberating yeah um 
It's like oh, yeah. a private dance workshop with eight eight musicians or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Even <laughs> though you might only you might only do it for thirty seconds <laughs> yeah. or a minute and a half or you know. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter, and yeah. and you know to be honest with you, the best times are when somebody comes in who's not really a dancer, and they just lose it and yeah. go crazy and and yeah. express themselves, even if it can just be like just standing there and shaking, yeah, you know, just vibrating like that. Yeah, you can see that they're having a moment. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, in it. Full yeah. power. 